What's good? What's good? This is what it is. Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Lab Factory powered by Dash Radio. Shout out to Earthquake. Earthquake just did LOL Earthquake. What's up, Pedro in the building? Um, just did Earthquake show. Uh, got picked up for a third season. Good for him. Earthquake is the man. And uh, thank you guys for jumping on. We're going to talk some shit about Savage AF. Once uh, Pedro jump on, I'm going to let you know I'm going to pin the information. And uh, I waved at Pedro, but I'm waiting for him to jump on with me there. I, 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 uh, Savage AF brought to you by the World Famous Lab Factory. We're on all the different platforms. There, wait, he's jumping in there. He'll be in there a minute. Um, it, we, uh, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud. Um, we're on all the different platforms, on all the different platforms. So make sure you subscribe to the podcast version of the show. Subscribe to the podcast version of the show. And we actually, if you, if you miss this show, you know what happens? You can go to our YouTube channel. I'm waiting for Pedro to jump on here. Uh, again, a little bit of a signal problem. It's freezing up a little bit, but we're going to get it together. Um, if it'll stop. Um, yeah, so make sure you go to Savage AF Podcast. Savage AF Podcast. He dropped out. Uh, Pedro, jump back on. Don't know what happened. Jump back on. Um, hey, what's up? Lady, uh, Lady underscore Hazel underscore May. What's up, Breezy JJs? What's up, Pretty on the left? Salutations to you. Uh, Velda, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? Um, yo, what's up? MC Smiley 164. Um, yo, what's going on with it? I'm shouting out some people real quick. Uh, J-R-A underscore N-Y-C. N-Y-C in the building. All right, so wait for Pedro to jump on. Um, I, I, there he is. There he is. There he is. I just uh, I just sent him the thing. Uh, Savage AF, I'm going to uh, let you know about the podcast version. We There it is. Uh, there he is. All right, so I don't know where he's at, but he should be there. And also on YouTube, on YouTube, there he is. I told you, <laughs> there he is on YouTube. Um, it's uh, YouTube. It's Savage AF Podcast. So um, while I'm doing this pen in here, I want you guys. Uh, he's going to give you the other information that I can give you while I pen this information for you to subscribe to the podcast version of the show on here now. Boom. Hey everybody, what's going on, y'all? What's up, Big Shane? You good, man? I'm good, man. It was, uh, you know, just a, a, a interesting morning. Um, uh, shout out to um, my son. Had some, you know, we had a, a death in the fam, but uh, you know, oh, no. we, we we stay strong. Yeah, like literally, like this morning. So, oh, man, but, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Yeah, man, it was it was, uh, but you know. Uh, my son's handling it like a trooper. We're going to handle it like a trooper because that's what we got to do. Got no choice. Like, literally this morning. Well, uh, much strength to, is, is it for Big Cam? Looking uh, for yeah, it's for Cam. It's for Cam. Yeah, his grandma. Right. Oh, man, I'm sorry, bro. Um, yeah. Well, that, that you know, that that's, you know, dark times are among us. Uh, you know, 2020, of course, this would be the... This would be the time and the moment when this would happen. Sorry to hear that, brother. And uh, yeah, you know, just, love, just yeah. love, love and strength to Cam, man. Yeah, I know he's a strong, young yeah, black man. He, yeah. So he's so, cool. He, I mean, he. I we had a long talk this morning, and just so he can put it in perspective, and uh, I basically used what my son, what my pops used to me. To I, I said the exact same thing my pop said to me when he when he passed. But he knew he was gonna pass. Like he already knew that he had a month left and he that's exactly what he gave they gave him they gave him a month and that was it um <laughs> so the clock, huh? but 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 he gambled and had a great time and you know strippers and everything so i you know he it was different yeah for him. um well man i'm i'm sorry to hear that brother uh yeah and uh no cam know. cam gonna be all right i know yeah, yeah i know Hope, I think yeah. I put the subscribe wrong, man. Is it subscribe to the YouTube uh, YouTube channel? It, uh, it would be AF, say, yeah, Seven J podcast. podcast, right, right. Yeah. Okay, I got. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna retype type it right now. Um, Pedro's gonna give you the rundown and the run up. Um, yeah. I'm gonna start posting it at, on all my other platforms. 
But thank you guys for uh, supporting us. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro, and he'll let you know the different information for the podcast version of it. That's what it is, man. Uh, make sure, and we're on all platforms, y'all. Every wherever you get your podcast, corner store, liquor store, gas station, where you get your scratchers at the Seven Eleven, we we there too. Uh, just ask for the Savage AF scratcher. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, of we got a scratcher. That's cool. Yeah, man, we out there, and, and of course, follow the. Uh, the uh, YouTube page, man, so you can see us when you miss us live here on IG, Mondays through Fridays. Monday and Friday, 3 p.m., Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Those are Pacific Standard Times. This is the daily run-up for October 5th, 2020. Um, uh, we well, well, yo, one, before you start, one more quick thing. Oh, yeah. I want to do a shout-out. Thank you guys for uh, – we just – someone bought uh, some masks and T-shirts this morning. We're working on that. So literally this morning, but I was dealing with some other stuff, but it'll be taken care of. Um, I think her name is Wendy. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll shout her out. But thank you for buying a Savage AF mask um, and shirt. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you guys out there. We appreciate y'all. All right, so October 5th, 2020. Uh, this is the run-up. It is a Monday, y'all. Uh, we're going to end the end today talking about uh, how it's too early to vote. Uh, early, at least for me. Today, I had an experience trying to go out early, vote early, and I learned some of the details. Um, we're going to talk yeah, about you, that. Yeah did, yeah, did you found out already? I found. I went online and found out. Yeah, no, I, I, I walked. <laughs> I did Are you serious? Oh, shit. <clears throat> yeah, um, I just went online and said, you know what? Let me make sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, before we talk about that, though, Lords of Land, uh, you know, who's going to really hold these landlords responsible they're out here being vicious with this eviction shit so want to talk about that uh, but before we talk about that we're going to talk about uh schools out uh new york city is going to close uh certain schools uh in certain areas as it's starting to see uh spikes uh not so, nine boroughs yeah it's not, crazy yeah. Uh, that's a nine, lot. Not, that's nine, a lot zip, of nine zip codes. There's five boroughs, but nine zip not codes. Not five I'm sorry. Not, did I say nine boroughs? Yeah. Five zip codes, but it's nine schools so far. Yeah, in, in, in nine different, I believe, uh, zip codes or whatever. Um, <laughs> but before we talk about that, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was hilarious, but without I, talk, You shut up. Don't you go it. there. Stop you it. stop. I you want stop. lavender for you. You no, stop. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we got to talk about that. The Proud Boys hashtag has been co-opted, and it's, it's pretty hilarious as, as well as positive. Um, and before we talk about that, though, <laughs> we're going to talk <laughs> about this outbreak and go, go COVID, go COVID, go, go COVID. COVID go, is go, doing his thing. Do what you do. Do what you do. Get everybody in. Do what you do. Press Secretary yep. Barbie got it. Press Secretary Barbie got it. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. That's what I call uh, Chris, Christy. Chris Krispy Kreme, uh, Krispy Kreme is yeah, yeah former uh, Christy, former yeah. former governor of New Jersey. His, his bowling ball donut glazed ass has it. Uh, Press Secretary Barbie has it. Uh, we got three different Republican senators. Uh, I believe two of which are on the Judiciary Committee, which would be part of the uh, you know pr which is the the key process for right. Uh, um, you know, pushing uh, portion pushing of her uh, her the security. SCOTUS. Two of, yeah, two of the security. I found out her two of the security got it. Uh, one was hospitalized. Who's her? Who's her? Who's her? Uh, 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 Barbie girl. Oh, uh, Kaylee McEnany. Yeah, her uh, yeah. aides. I, I heard two of her aides got it. Yep. Her two oh, of her aides so got far. it and, and security. Pre and Arie Gourmet, welcome, says uh, president of Notre Dame. And, you know, I, I thought that one st stood out, too, because he, he's a man of the cloth. You know, it's a, it's a Catholic university. He's there shaking and wearing no mask. And yet you've got, you're trying, you're supposed to be opening a school, a major university responsibly and, and encouraging students to do distancing and things like this. Like All it, of them it's, are it's fucking just, idiots. And then you go out there in this national setting and, and do some dumb shit. So I, I thought that was an egregious one. Thanks for pointing that out, RBA. But uh, yeah, man, um, so far, I believe up to 13 different people uh, are, can, are around him now have been... Uh, infected ever since we found infected. out about whole and, and, and and the other thing about that situation is 
We still don't know how many other people that were, like, for instance, at where they were trying to get the, the Supreme Court choice that they picked, that right wing uh, against Roe versus Wade, bitch. Um, she's, yeah, she flat out is against Roe versus Wade. She's going to uh, return that shit as soon as she can. Amy, Amy um, Coney Barrett. Yeah. Um, at that meeting or inauguration of that, there were so many people there without masks. They might have it. So we they're, don't they're know. They're thinking it's a super spreader event. They're thinking right. That, they don't that, know who all got it. Right. Done. But you know what? Again, people, I've been back and forth with people arguing with me like, man, you can't be feel bad. You can feel bad that the president got the, you got the brother, he's a human being and you got to make your, he, get the fuck out of here. He ain't got no empathy. He ain't getting no empathy. Oh. Period. I, I, you know, I hear you. RVA Gourmet said, and Amy Coney Barrett probably has it in all them kids. Um, actually, she already came out and said that she had it earlier uh, some months ago. So she went through it already. That, that's, that's her defense. All right, so I, I don't know where you want to start with, uh, with all of this shit from this weekend, but um, there is all them lies from them doctors, okay? And then there's just some of the shadiest medical conferences you've ever seen. Um, Yo, jump back on. I didn't get one call and it happened. I don't know how to fix it. So jump right back on. We're going to jump right back on. For some reason, it blocks the sound on there. I got to figure out a way to fix that. Um, can't use airplane mode. Um, Pedro will jump right back on and we'll continue to do it right back on. Um, this is the nature of the doing it this way. Where is Pedro at? Where is Pedro? Um, yeah, I, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the different people that got it. Where the fuck is Pedro? Yeah, where's Waldo? Where's Pedro? There he is. Hopefully the sound works right, and we do the shit right. I nobody called me until just now, and fucked it up. What's up, AJ? Pedro, tell me I can hear you. I can. I can you hear me? I don't know. Very low. Oh, you gotta try again. Now, maybe I'll jump off and jump back on. Hold on. Um, he's gonna jump back on uh, Savage AF. We apologize about that. I don't know. If anybody get any suggestions on how to block calls while I'm on IG without blocking the signal to get IG, please give me suggestions because this shit is starting to get frustrating. Nobody called me until we get started doing that and doing the show, and I apologize about that. You said Pedro sounded great, but I can't hear him. I couldn't hear him. If Pedro. You just, if you just do uh, airplane mode, can you hear me? Airplane mode blocks it. No, but then you can do airplane mode and then turn on your Wi-Fi. Okay. Well, you continue saying that, and I'll do it right now. Yeah, man. It might cut you. Hang in there with us, people, please. I don't know what. What's up, y'all? What's going on, everybody? Yo, Shang in the building. Um, Pedro will be back in the building in a second. Yeah, he paused because I put it on airplane mode to avoid calls coming in so I can hear the sound pertaining to Pedro, which I can't hear him. Um, it's a side, so it goes live, goes longer. Uh, I'm reading y'all comments. It's Shang's side, so the live goes longer. Yeah, I don't know why. So, um, only thing I can suggest. Here we go. Let's try it again. Savage AF, we got it. Lord have mercy. That's how I feel about it. Do not disturb. I'll inbox you. Somebody inbox me on how to do the shit because the shit is not working. Pedro. Yo. Can you here we me? go. Sound is fine. Yes. I I right. try. I did airplane mode and it blocked you. It blocked everything. That's why I paused. Can't do it with airplane mode. 
You should be able to do airplane mode and then turn your Wi-Fi on, like on an airplane. I did that. My Wi-Fi was on. Or I wouldn't well, be able yeah, to do yeah, it if, if you if you turn if you do airplane mode while we're on live, yeah, it, like if you turn it on while we're live broadcast, yeah, yeah, it's gonna cut the signal. But uh, anyways, let's get back to the show, man. So yeah, uh, we got we got like we'll uh, cut this part out. <laughs> yeah, we got like uh, you know all this outbreak there. So there's all the lies. Let, let's just start there with all the lies from the doctors. So. Um, Wait a minute, you Pedro. Know. Are you saying doctors are lying? <gasps> the, 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 these two Sean's, Sean Conley and Sean, I think his other one, other name is Cooley. They're both actually military. Um, yes. And, and so, you know, one of the criticisms is that they, they sort of have to take orders from their commander in chief. Um, so, you know, not necessarily a typical doctor patient uh, scenario. Um, but also that they don't want that, like you know, they they wouldn't answer simple questions like, "Was he on oxygen?" You know, yesterday, and they're like, "He's not on oxygen right now." And they're like, "But yeah, how right. about yesterday? He's not on it now." It's like, okay, you playing games. Uh, the one that caught me is when they so he he got he got caught in a lie. Um, I think about when either when they began some form of treatment and uh the dr conley sean conley he was like well you know i didn't want the information he was like in keeping up with the update upbeat shout out to speech. eve real quick shout out to eve's apple yep. eve's in the building up, thank you eve for all your help we appreciate yes. you extremely appreciate it so and yeah. then uh but he was like in keeping up with the upbeat spirit of all of our of the patient and the team uh and the progress of the virus i didn't want anything to any information to affect the course of the virus. And I was like, how would telling us the what's, truth. Going, what's going on with his virus affect the virus in his body? Like, Well, the virus has feelings. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> dog. Like the virus is gonna be like, Oh shit! They know what temperature we are. Turn up the heat, baby. We gotta burn this bitch. Right. Like, it's just, it's burn just all the dumbest files. shit. In the world. Hit self destruct. We gotta go. Like, I'm like, just tell us what the fuck is going on. Like, it it that that shit. But it just it's it's like funny when people try and lie, especially when they're just not good at it, because they they will say some of the dumbest, honestly, most childish shit, to say that I didn't want in from any information to affect. The course of of the virus. The virus. Oh no, they're like, all full of shit. They're so full of shit, Pedro. You know the doctors are full of shit. The fact that they're letting this man go to the White House, make videos, drive around in fucking SUVs, waving at his fans in a hermetically sealed fucking uh, SUV, and the other two motherfuckers in the front, like, do we really got to ride with this nigga? Do we have to ride with this motherfucker? It's just horrible. And this is the craziest. Like you said, the best bullshit I've heard was on Fox News, where Fox News, the lady said that, um, you know what? Joe Biden doesn't have it, but the Trump has it. And Trump will be able to speak from a personal experience of it and be better to combat the virus because he has the virus. So since he has the virus, he'll be better to fight the virus. <laughs> on its own playing field, and he will fight it on its playing field. And that's what we're going to do. It's like, oh, you dumb bitch. Right, so, really, so for eat a bag of dicks. For those who don't get how dumb that, that was for her to say that is, that being, that's like saying that Trump is the best president to fight herpes because he has herpes. Right. You know what I'm saying? So just think about that. You probably just rather have the president that doesn't have herpes. Herpes to fight. Or at, herpes. Least, knows how, I don't or at want... least knows how to avoid herpes as best he can. Right. You know I don't mean? want the AIDS guy to tell me how to fight AIDS. I, like, I, yeah, I just don't. I don't want that. I just like, think like that... I said this earlier. The shark experts who have like missing limbs and shit. I'm like, you ain't an expert, dog. Like, <laughs> Take it. I got all my arms. I've swam in the ocean before, and I have all my arms, dog. Like, yeah, apparently, you ain't a shark expert. I'm a yeah, shark apparently, expert. you got too close to the sharks, and you don't want. I'm gonna go outside the cage. I'm gonna go outside the cage and show you how it's done. 
Right? And then the shark goes, man, I've been waiting for you to come outside the cave. I don't know why I made him sound like a pimp. Like, I can't wait for you to come outside that cave. When you come outside that cave, I'm going to bite the shit out of you, baby. You I'm understand me? That That's what, I'm going to tear all that up. What is that, white meat? Because uh, it's always white people. I don't understand why you people jump in the water with us. But we bite you. That's what we do. How many black people have been attacked by sharks? Ready? Let's, uh, I'll wait. I wait. I, we don't exactly. know that. We don't know that. We don't know that. No, come on. You don't know that stat. <laughs> no, but I think that um, but, they said that, that, that a super. It might be no bullshit. They said because of the situations that he's done, it might be a super spreader situation. It really might be. So the the, the nomination of of, of of Amy Coney and Coney Barrett. Yeah. Yes. They were they were yeah. hugging. Um, they were so hugging, I, I looking think, at each other's faces. Uh, I think it was uh, maybe J-R-A-N-Y-C or somebody had mentioned that, um, shout out, by the way, that um, there was doctor-patient privileges. But I think R.V.A. Gourmet countered with, uh, <laughs> with um, that the president doesn't share those same privileges. I mean, we have to think with regards to possible transition of power um, and, and things like that, if necessary, you know, Con, con, you know, continuity of government, national security. I think about all that. And, you know, and by the way, he went on this little joyride parade, they're calling it. Um, unless that was a body double in the car. And he's right, already Right, because he had a mask don't on, so we don't know if it was him. Conspiracies, y'all. Don't get caught yeah. up in the conspiracies. It's levels. But, it's all levels. Yeah. But uh, he, he goes on this ride and, you know, it's potentially now, um, in, in, you know, knowingly infecting uh his security secret service right which is a limited resources uh entity right like it's not like it's just millions of secret service agents so me, millions of motherfuckers that's willing to jump in front of a bullet for you so and um, some of them some of them still are working you know, to keep uh former presidents alive all the living presidents have some form of secret service uh security um so you know, it, 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 they, they, they're being stretched now or, or, and, and Jeff definitely jeopardized. Um, so, uh, but Pedro read that breezy JJ said he's being released in a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I know he's, he's, so he's about to jump out now. So there, and, and so that goes with, he didn't have it. That, no, no, no. That goes with the mix of patient <laughs> privilege know. versus your, your doctors are also, you know, warriors under you as commander in chief. And I think ultimately he unfortunately gets to call the shots on his, his, because none of this stuff along with any of this administration's behavior makes sense. According to CDC rules. I mean, none of these people, Kaylee Mack and any Chris Christie cream, Krispy cream, they haven't, they, they didn't, you know, uh, quarantine, Bill Barr's not quarantining. Right, they uh, Mike, showed Mike up. Pence, they knew Mike they Pence had it. Mike Pence yeah. isn't quarantining. So none of them are, are giving a fuck about this. Um, and he just wants to look strong. I'm telling you, this is not, you know, I, I, I believe he has it, y'all. You know I mean? Ultimately, I, I he has think, it. I, well, I mean, a lot of, I mean, why is he getting out, what, four days? He just, well, he, and nobody he, has he to he do wants, this 14-day yeah, he wants. He's definitely downplaying it, but I'm saying he gets out four days. The doctors don't. The doctors are cool with that. They're cool to let this motherfucker be a super spreader orange but that's agent. That's what I'm saying. They are. They're they all are. fucking corrupt. All of them. But they're in the army, though. Like, they're, or, I'm sorry, they're in the armed services. So they they also under him, they're under him as commander in chief. So you know, I'm not sure. Ultimately, outside of emergency situations, doctors can force you to do anything as a patient either. Uh, and they can't release any information that you don't want out there. But um, ultimately, Horrible. Horrible. I think these, these doctors are in a position uh, and they're doing it horribly uh, of, you know, trying to dance Bitches. between responsible physician. And, and, you know, this just highlights a whole other thing of, of how the president contradicts science. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And then he, he just doesn't like science. It's too hard to do the things it's that too it hard says. for his little tiny orange brain to wrap his mind around all that bullshit. And basically, that's why this fucking COVID shit in America is going to continue because we got a bunch of butt crust continue to do that. These shit biscuits keep fucking around and yeah. keep doing stuff and acting and right in the face of all the scientists. And how the fuck they let this dude wander around with the COVID? Oh, he's like a COVID fucking killer. He don't.
and and Hope Hicks, that bitch had it, and they still went on an airplane ride. Uh, Kellyanne Conway, that well, that you know, it ain't gonna make her look much worse yeah. than she look now. That Crip Keeper. So, <laughs> bottom, yeah, she looked like the Crip Keeper. Like, I don't know if y'all remember the Crip Keeper. It was a show on. I don't know if it was HBO, and it's like, ah, we're going to talk about horror. That's every time I see her, I just think, God damn, that's the Crip Keeper with titties. So. I'm just telling you right now, I think he's going to make it worse. But if I was Kamala, I wouldn't debate that motherfucker without plexiglass around me. Real shit. Because yeah, I don't I mean, trust that motherfucker. I heard somebody float the idea of them being in different rooms. I'm like, uh, you think? <laughs> I, I wouldn't be around that motherfucker right now. Um, you know, but all, all all things that they have done, this administration have have uh conflicted with any form of science and that's why you saw fauci lose status and eventually burks and now they got this clown dr scott atlas who'll say anything they want them to say um who'll, who'll get up there and you know that's what we saw from these doctors here who happen to also be that that is the the lead doctors on his medical team at uh walter reed um that you know he they, they, they're also his subjugates in, in terms of the armed services. Uh, right. So I, I understand that, but they nobody has integrity. Nobody has a moral center. None of them. So I'm telling you right now, I, and Biden says some, Biden been saying some gangster shit lately. He's like, yeah, I don't want the man, you know, you know, I want him to get well soon. And then somebody says, so you want him to get well so he can get his ass beat at the election. But they're still pulling crooked shit. The doctors are crooked. The people around it the, in the GOP are crooked. Everybody condones this behavior. We're going to continue to have motherfucking COVID. I hate their families. Oh, I hate them. I want to fight them. But I don't want to punch them because then I get COVID on my knuckles. I don't need that. Yeah, all of them. But they, the debate coming up, because um, Pence has been in close proximity of to President all of this, Trump. All, all of, of them. Uh, all of them, man. All these people, bro. There, there, there are a lot of of people who have come. Like I said, I think up to thirteen now have been linked to that um, the super spreader uh, SCOTUS, SCOTUS nomination for Amy Coney Barrett, who, by the way, already had it, um, according to her. Um, already had COVID nineteen uh, back in the day. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> man, uh, not that long ago. But see, uh, people are so, saying so they inject got, him with bleach. <laughs> right. Um, so we got the, we got the doctors. Um, th speaking of injections of bleach, they're talking about, you know, this, you know, sort of cocktail of, of remedies he has going on. And <laughs> I thought this was hilarious. Dr. Sanjay Gupta on CNN threw out a term that I, I guess you're aware of, but it, I hadn't heard it put like that. He called it a steroid psychosis. He's like, you know, it's possible that he there, there is a bit of steroid psychosis. I mean, because he's on a lot of steroids right now. And if you think about it, any dude who's ever been roided out, right? Like, he's not the best guy to ask advice for, you know? You right. know, like, you, you might be like, hey, man, do you know where the art museum is? And he'll be like, I just want to snap a pickup truck in half. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, okay, exactly. okay sorry, yeah. sorry. So, oh no! Yeah, um, he, your boy he's, is he's, he's, he's roided out. He's medicated. <laughs> he's heavily medicated, and he's like, "I want to go for a ride. <laughs> I want to see people, and the people want to see me. And you know what? And fuck you. Hey, you know what, man? You're cool. You're cool, man. But <laughs> you know what? I've always you liked the way you hold your gun. Fuck you're you, so man. cool. Take hey, but you know what's going to happen? You, what's going to happen is, I think what's going to happen is. You know, the 25th, I think they're going to do the 25th Amendment is going to have to be put in place. But then again, Pence is a fucking, you know, butt badger. Yeah. Uh, I said badger because it's so pretty on the left side. Rabbit, rabbit badger. badger. No, he's a, he, he's a butt badger. He's, he's, he's so far up Trump's ass, he knows what he tastes in the morning for breakfast. So oh, yeah. I think that at the end of the day, um, they're going to have to do that. Because even if he's that medicated, which um, Gupta said, He's highly medicated. This is medication you shouldn't be released out of the hospital with. They should yeah. monitor your ass, but he has the best doctors and whatever else. It don't matter. His supporters still are out there. Oh, it was so hilarious. They're out there singing Born in the USA, and then Bruce Springsteen came out and said, don't sing my shit. That's a protest <laughs> song. Give me my song back, bitch. 
Yeah, don't uh, he sing, sing something else. And he said, that's a protest song for fucking veterans. It has nothing to do with being the, the born in the USA, actual what you think it is. And so, and then, so now they're singing, I'm proud to be an American. They're fucking horrible, dude. But we got to vote this orange bitch out. We got to or we got to get this orange cunt stick out. And if y'all don't vote, I swear on anything. If you're my friend, you could be my friend. And if you told me you ain't vote, and I mean vote <laughs> against Trump, I ain't gonna like you no more. That's, That's real shit. Every time I look at you, I'm gonna look at you like, yo, turn coat, bass bitch. I'm telling mm -hmm. you right now. Yeah, I mean, it's and, just bullshit. And, and uh, hold on, Miss Adverb, don't think I didn't see you slip into class late. Slip in, she for, slipped in, you. she slipped into class. Thank you for joining uh, quietly. Oh, I thought she joined quietly, but then the first thing she says is, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> so, so, you <laughs> if he know, dies, she came in the door dies. kicking the 4-4. Four -four. There you go, all right. <laughs> That's our girl. It's a little spunk to her always. Uh, Savage AF, y'all, we're here Monday through Friday on IG Live. Uh, as long as they don't pixelate or <laughs> try and negate what we say when we talk this yeah, year. But yeah. uh, I saw Yanni Kisar earlier said advice. He has launch codes. <laughs> uh, speaking of Trumpy Dumpty, who's uh, uh, possibly on roid psychosis right now. Um, there is a process to that, right? We always talk about the button, but it's, 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 it's not like some shit under the desk where he could just be like, China. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, fuck it. You know, I met, just watch, I, I met watch at Rosie O'Donnell and, and he, he sent something to like Indiana, like fuck Indiana. And just press the button. It's not like that. There has to be other people involved. But he has been acting a little fucking uh, wackadoo. And after I saw that, um, you know, debate, I thought he really imagine him on roids. He already acts he, like no, that. No, you don't have to. He's he's on it now. We don't even have to imagine. <laughs> no, I'm saying like I this haven't seen it. him speak. I haven't seen him speak really yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I so it. imagine him like, yeah, I'm back in the White House. Who wants up? Who want you? What? And like, imagine that shit. Fucking scary times. But what's up, Jay Rich in the building? We got a lot of people jumping on now. Thank you so much for rocking out with us. Make sure you all subscribe, subscribe, subscribe before we go into this next topic. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm going to bop on to the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. In fact, that's Pedro. While I'm on with Pedro, it just popped in. Um, hey. Yeah, we, we, we saw we got a couple people jump on, but make sure... Make sure Shang was on roids in 93. Oh, that's fucked up. You know what, man? Quit bringing my personal shit up, man. He came out just fine the other night. He came out just fine. Uh, RVA Gourmet, she says, six post office mailboxes were open and robbed last night in Richmond. I want to take that. We're going to put it in our Savage AF pocket. And we're going to save that uh, for later when I talk about voting uh, at the end of the show. But thank you for that tidbit. Jay Rich, what's going on? Jay Rich 510. Very funny comic. Make sure you follow. Um, so, yes, <laughs> yes, first off, uh, yes, are you, wait a minute, hold up, excuse yes. me, are you introducing this, the, the okay, topic right stop, now, because I need stop. you to do it in a, you do it in a fashionable way, I'm gonna okay, this. okay, stop, all right, okay, go, ahead. Have, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, just such a crazy, up. crazy up. man, what we have is a situation where, like, the president, Totally like last week was like, hey, all you fascist guys with guns, why don't you just wait in the corner and I'm going to call you out, okay? I'm going to call you out when stand I need Stand by okay? and stand, just, stand, you just stand by with your guns and your muscles and your yeah, right. beer. Stand, and your, stand and by your and stay oh, sexy. Oh, you just stand there. Just stand there and I'll just tell stand you. There. I'll just tell you stuff. It's so too. such a great way to fuck them so, over. And I know so they're losing happened? their minds. So what happened is the hashtag Proud Boys, it was like totally co-opted by proud gay men <laughs> who yes. have now been like showing photos of gay love and hashtagging Proud Boys and totally taking over the hashtag on social media so that when fascist hicks go to look for contact to this Proud Boy network, uh, all they're seeing is two beards rubbed together. Right. And, and man bellies touching. And, you know, it's, nothing it's, wrong with that. It's so funny. I, def, I know I that they're losing that their right mind. Now. Like, go, yeah. <laughs> I, it's, it's amazing. Like, definitely support that. Awesome. Like, uh, but Pedro, no, it's, it's did positive. you see something? Did you see something? Well, you don't go on Twitter. I went on Twitter. <laughs> RVA Gourmet said men on politics. <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> that First gets off, big zap, let's zip. talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Let, let me tell you something. I went on Twitter and saw it, and I started laughing. 
because I noticed some when it was like two dudes meat blasting each other's face, and, <laughs> and and I was like, what the fuck? And yeah. then you could see the comments from the the actual Proud Boys going, you know what, like, you dirty, you dirty sons of bitches. This is our platform, and I just I I had to comment. I commented about ten times, and he went back and forth with me. And I said, "Oh, so this is what you're proud of taking that dick to the face." And then, <laughs> then he came back and said, "Fuck you." And then by the like fifth one, I think he blocked me. But it was yeah. great. He blocked me. <laughs> no, this is this is one of those genius things. Uh, pretty on the left and right said, uh, um, "The internet wins again." And, you know, it's it, it's just one of those things you got you got to watch what you call yourself because you know because that that honestly that is a that is like a um, uh, a gay thing, you know what I mean? Uh, where, you know, like, heterosexual men will, will refer to their homies as, boy, like, yo, I'm about, I'm about to get up with my boys or whatever. But, you know, it is a big gay thing, too, to be like, it's boys night, or, you know, all the boys are out, or where are the boys at? It's boys town, you know, like, that's a big verb, that's a big thing there. So, you know, and, and then pride, is another thing that, you know, is, is a big part of the gay movement, right? So when you put proud and boys together, you, you, you pave your own path towards oh, yeah. this, and this it's whole thing and of your movement. Just go on, yeah. if you guys get a chance, go on. I, I mean, literally, do block me. Um, <laughs> go, on, uh, um, <laughs> go on Twitter and put in Proud Boys. And it's hilarious how mad they are. There. They're furious. They're furious, J man. JRA uh, NYC said, Proud Boy song. Let's hear it for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's, and, and, it, oh, man. man. I thought of so much shit. It's raining men. It's all kind of shit. No, it's, They're getting it's, killed on there. But you know what? This is a wild shit. I think what I love the fact that they did it this way because it does diffuse them connecting the same way because hashtag Proud Boys actually is bigger with the gay community than it is with actual Proud Boys, you know, militias. So they're getting yeah. fucked over. But when I said that to him, and then he hit me back, and then back we went back and forth. It was funny because it's like, <laughs> they already won, bitch. You already lost. RVA Gourmet said, because the boys in the hood are always hard. <laughs> I hate y'all, man. Y'all savage. Y'all like savage and shit. Savage AF. Make sure you follow on YouTube if you miss us live here on IG. Savage AF Podcast is the channel. Uh, and then uh, we are on every podcast um, platform. iTunes, yes. Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. Spotify. I'm surprised. Right. I'm surprised that it, it it resonated that quickly, and I'm like, what can they do to combat this? Nothing, because it's way more gay men than there are proud boys. Right. So they're right. done. They're done. At least uh, you know we're like, like we're the, we're big men and we're gonna go out there and fight for Trump. And while we're fighting, we're gonna wear some tight, some well. tight and sexy, something that'll cut my butt <laughs> off in a way that everybody. Well, look at me and want to sing. It's raining, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just, it's, he's my fucking... it. No, but, and, you know, and, and realistically, though, it won't, it's not going to stop what they, what they do in that movement and that mindset. But and the connecting the, online. The will... But it does disrupt that, and it does um, bring a, a bit of levity while, while spreading some positivity uh, around an, uh, what had become a negative subject. Uh, and it also makes them look silly as shit. You know what I mean? And uh, oh yeah, yeah. So that that's uh, you know something that I was proud of. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great way to fucking diffuse their idiocy. So good. I'm glad they are getting uh, you, gay man. You take them, take them down. Oh shit! <laughs> you take these proud boys down. God damn it! Yeah, man. Fuck her. Um, you fuck speaking her. of speaking of being taken down. Uh, New York City is uh, is 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 closing um, some schools in in reclosing I should say some schools. reclosing they opened yeah they opened and they're reclosing you're right and this is this is sort of days after uh, opening these schools up um, New York City but did you hear what Cuomo closed. said did you hear what Cuomo said he said no if what, I see any 
Cuomo was like, if I see anything that I feel is not acceptable, we're shutting down. I don't give a shit what they say. I don't care what the federal government says. This is what's going to happen. Like, Cuomo been hard in the paint. I mean, like, and his brother Damn, been burger. backing him. I got oh, yeah. it. I, I, he, he, there was no hesitation. Like, well, let's think about it. But what about the schools? He's like, nope, fuck that. Yeah. If the shit start breaking out, schools shut down. And I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad he's doing it that way. Yeah, man. Um, so, you know, and that being said, New York, New York has been – they had to be the shining example because they became a global epicenter for the pandemic. Uh, right. And the city acted responsibly uh, and the state, um, you know, once the numbers came in and yeah, you know, that that's the way the virus works. It's, it, once it gets in here, it's pervasive and you, they had to do drastic things. And yeah, we saw Manhattan shut the fuck down. Right. And Bro of all places, Bro Times Square was a ghost town, but Cuomo, I bullshit you not, I think Cuomo has been um, the older Cuomo, the, the older brother, Cuomo, and the younger brother, they've been going hard in the paint. And I like the fact that he's handling it like that because, you know, the kids the, the kids do need school. Don't get me wrong. They need school without question. My son's already out of, you know, out of school. He's doing it online. Both my sons are doing it online because it's like, fuck all that. But um, I think he's one of the first ones I see speak up against the president, against, especially he went hard against Pence pertaining to, like, no, you ain't gonna tell me to keep the school open. Get the fuck out of here. That's the only thing he didn't do was, hey, who the fuck are you talking to, Yo, all right? I'm shutting the fucking, fucking schools down, all right? Me. Don't you fucking embarrass Don't, don't you worry. fucking, God forbid, no, God forbid, get, I gotta come over to you. Shut your fucking face. Shut your um, fucking mouth, I swear to God. I swear to God. It was, yeah. it was good, though, because you gotta think about this. If I'm a teacher and I'm in a school, I'm not motivated to teach the kids if I'm going to get COVID. Because they said kids don't spread it. Kids do spread it. Kids are little but, but fucking look, germ bags. Every time, you see, imagine just being an adult standing there, and every time you see a kid, that's you. <laughs> you know, like kids touch every day. Lick and touch Everything, and right. So I think it's a I'd good like, move. You know and what? I, I'd, be, I'd just stand in class uh, like kung fu kicking kids away all day. Like, get the fuck back. <laughs> get the it sucks. Did it's you like, kick I, my son Timmy? Yes, I did. He I, sneezed. No, I kicked the COVID that was in his chest, man. Yeah, okay. I don't. I, if you wouldn't sneeze, I wouldn't have kicked Timmy. It, it yeah, I think it's, a, it's what we got to do right now. And the schools, and there are other there are other schools that stayed open and end up having super spreader clusters. Like in, um, it was one in Arkansas, one in Wyoming, one in, like same shit where they didn't close the school. You know. Yeah. You know, yeah. oh shit, yeah, Jr. Jr. Underscore NYC. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he's going hard in the paint. He said, he said to Trump, "Hey, you're no Gov king." Gov New York, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said, "What?" He said, "You're no king. Who the okay. fuck you think you are? We're well, shutting so, shit down." Shut regarding your mouth. Trump, regarding Trumpy Dumpty, man, that's that's what it is, man. So, and and now we have Trumpy Dumpty on roids, <laughs> <laughs> which is a scary. Roid psychosis, psychosis or whatever. Um. But yeah, you know, I, I think uh, somebody mentioned earlier that we, we saw this coming. You know, we, we, there, there's just the, uh, obviously there's there's not a high mortality rate um, and and sort of adverse effect rate with the kids. But the thing has always been their ability to spread it, to spread it around. You know what I mean? And that's why right now no place really needs to cluster these kids together. Yes, they need education. Um, they need socialization. Um, but understand, if we had all locked down, like, much tighter earlier, we all could sooner. be too. So, yeah, yeah, a yeah, yeah, normal yeah, sure. place. But, you know, all that being said, your president has the joint and doesn't even want to doesn't even want to fuck with science uh, on it. So how, how could we, you know, you got the president <laughs> of Notre Dame University. By the way, go blue. Fuck Notre Dame. Um, <laughs> Damn. And Damn, he's clergy. Pedro. He's Catholic. Get that clergy. off your chest. Get it and off he, your chest, Pedro. He gets it. But you want the schools, you expect the schools to be, and the kids at the schools to do it responsibly. You put them together. You the one told them it was all right to come back. Fucking what dummies. What the fuck you think they're going to do? Fucking that's dummies. What kid, that's, especially college. That's what they do is spread droplets. Like, that's the goal. Yeah. I, used to, I used to build up droplets. 
just so I could give as many away. <laughs> you know what I mean? All kinds oh, of yeah. Problems. Yeah, there's going to be so dropping. many kids. There's so many kids that are not going to listen. And, and it's, I think, like, I love the fact, like, my son has been doing, like, he has a paper due today where he's virtually doing the stuff online. And my youngest son is, like, sometimes it's hard to focus. But, you know, once I get it done, I do it more like once I get it done, I feel better. So um, I, my, I, have a, I have two boys in there. <laughs> so um, I, I think that the, I like what Cuomo was saying about the fact that he didn't hesitate. He said this before it even happened. And as soon as it happened, he shut it down. So he stuck to his guns. He stayed to it. Even though the president threatened him, this really happened. The president threatened him and Pence was talking shit about him and he didn't give, he gave zero fucks. You got to see the you got to see the press conference, and then at the end he said, hey, "You're no fucking king, hey yeah. Trump. You're no fucking king. You're not gonna tell me what the fuck to do, all right? Hey, I'm gonna see you when I see you. You know what the fuck's gonna happen when I see you. Turn into when I see you, it's gone. That's yeah. a Sopranos episode, real quick. <laughs> no, you got. Did you see the press conference? Where no, he I just, missed that. There was like it was so funny. It was it was like watching. It was the way he was talking. He was like like he's just tired of the bullshit. And pertaining to the schools, he didn't. There was no hesitation, or let me think about it, or what about the economy? He didn't give a fuck about none of that. He said, "Safety of the children and the staff and teachers is first. Fuck all y'all." Yeah. And I think that's the. I actually appreciate that way of going about it than some of these other motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. South Dakota sure. idiots, Florida. Oh my God, they're doing it wrong. Uh, Florida man, is doing yo, it watch, so watch wrong. What's about to happen there? Watch what's about to happen there. Uh, with the full bars full open and, and restaurants full open indoors, uh, watch what's about to go down. So, um, and I saw people bring up sports and, you know, they got had some game camp cancellations in the NFL. Cam Newton has it, has the COVID now um, for the uh, New England Patriots. Uh, and, and, you know, that that's a glaring example, too, with, with both MLB and NFL being affected. And I don't believe NHL was. They actually, last week, uh, and I can't even remember who won, but uh, <laughs> celebrated their, uh, you know, another Stanley Cup championship. And uh, they were the first major sport to, you know, announce a champion during this pandemic. Right. And, they, and I they, think that they, for the they, NBA, they did, the NBA did, will be next. They did two bubbles. Well, yeah, that, that's just how the schedule went. Or, you know, they, they got started for it. But the NHL did two bubbles. The NBA did one, you know. And... We, we see the success of it. They have no cases. The NHL had no problems. It was Tampa Bay. Thank you, El Noop. Tampa Bay Lightning won the uh, <laughs> Stanley Cup. But, uh, uh, and surprisingly from Florida, of all places. <laughs> but yeah. the, the, these right. leagues formed bubbles and were responsible. And, and these, these school systems, uh, and to be, to be fair, on a local level, they don't have the resources to protect these kids and the, and the adults in that situation like that. To, to build up the PPE and the this this the, the, that that it is was, federal, too money that, that it's too, it's too much money response. the states right. don't even have that you know per it's district, federal. they're not going to be able to provide it. that is a federal response that needs to occur if you're going to demand that schools open up in this way then you have to set everything forward, in the place for the safety of the kids scientifically that provides for it because I don't disagree I, I I don't argue that schools should stay closed if we're all I'm ever saying is that if we're going to open all of this up do it right. There is a right way to do it during a pandemic that is still occurring where you, you don't have to just be out here exposing people, right? We could take measures that would still allow people to enjoy. But, you know, Americans are fucked up because, I, like I said, I work at this restaurant in, in Beverly Hills and we're totally in this place now where people are, in, they feel entitled and it's back. And, and now they're like, well, why can't I just get a drink? It's like, it's because that's a bar. And bars are closed, right? Where you're allowed to dine outdoors right now. That's what you can do. That's it. Outdoors. You can eat outdoors. outside. Yeah, right, right. Have no. some drinks while you're eating. When that's over, get the fuck out and go home. All right? Just, we ain't hanging out. It, you know, old dudes still pulling up at fucking 11 o'clock. Like, yeah, I just want to get one. And get, get the fuck out of here, Claude. Okay? There's no, there's <laughs> Listen, no hookers Cleo, here this. for you to pick. Yeah, there's no hookers at the bar for you to pick up on. Get the fuck out of here. But, just go. but you know what? It's people, they, they say people, people don't, are getting they don't, COVID. They're getting COVID, um, uh, you know, quarantine fatigue. COVID psychosis. 
Yeah, yeah, but you know what? At the end of the day, I like the way they're doing it pertaining to the schools. I like the way that they're doing it pertaining to, you know, I mean, but Florida, Florida, and that's because of the governor and because of the way they're going about it. They're going to get hit hard, and fuck them. And, I mean, I like doing gigs in Florida, and the people that have some sense in Florida, I love y'all. Thank you for the people coming to all my shows in Florida, but check this out. They're doing this shit wrong, and in the end, they're going to get bit in the ass. You, gotta protect you know what I'm yourself. saying? And you know who's going to be biting you in the ass? The Proud Boys. That's who's going to be biting <laughs> you in the ass. It's going to be the Proud Boys. Or, and Shark, Mark. If, you don't, if you don't listen to Pedro, Black Pedro, the shark expert, who says, stay the fuck away from him. <laughs> stay, stay yeah, exactly. In places they might be. Uh, RVA Gourmet said these colleges just wanted money. And, and we'll bounce to the next subject on that and just understand that um, that's, that's the problem when capitalism runs a society is that the decisions will always be on money and not on lives or science at this point, which is extremely crazy that science right. is the thing that they have to do commercials for like science. We're using this, you know, like companies yeah. are like, remember science? It's like, yeah, nigga, I remember. Uh, check this out. Um, pretty on the left said, uh, pretty on the left and right um, said 14,000 deaths in Miami. This is not Florida. This is in Miami. This is not Tampa or Fort Lauderdale. This is just Miami. That's a ton of motherfuckers died. So yeah, you know what? It is. It part of it is about just common sense and tribalism, and the motherfuckers want to be. I'm on the blue team. I'm on the red team. Fuck that. And fuck you, people. You're not gonna tell me how to live and all this other dumb shit. Well, then don't wear seatbelts then, because people are telling you you have to wear a seatbelt. If you're that, you feel like that, go right through the fucking window, bitch. Just yeah. Fly through the window because seatbelts for a minute there. Where people are like, you're not gonna tell me how to drive. I'm an American and I can drive any way I want. Oh shit! I hit a tree. Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking idiots. And all then we of, sue the tree. Bitches. Then we yeah, sue the tree. So, exactly. So, but it is about money, and that's what. Well, uh, Pedro will segue into this next thing because it's about well, the money. It's about the loot. It it is it is. But actually. I think because we're, we're running low on time and, and I, I'm, you know, I got to bounce to work uh, after today. Yeah, so. we got, we got, we got, yeah, we don't have as much time today. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to forego until tomorrow, if y'all don't mind. All right. Can you hear me? Or did yeah, I, I can hear you. you. Okay. So no, that uh, was, uh, that was an alert I got from CNN saying Trump leaves, uh, hospital. leaves hospital. Yeah. I get a little alerts, but those won't yeah. affect the getting sound. It's just then. a call. Yeah, uh, but uh, uh, well, yeah, so let's I, let's I, let's let's I'm, do it I'm tomorrow, a, and I'll start. To, let's do it tomorrow for sure. And then and then, so I want to skip to the last topic, uh, which is too early to vote early, um, because today, I actually I, I went online too and was like, okay, where do I vote? And I, you know, I was late la last night and early today, I, I was doing my uh, research on, you know, the propositions and the. The judges I, I, and the city council and the school board and the people I need to vote for. And then I, I went to lavote.net and went on the map. And um, I didn't quite look at the dates. I just looked at the times and the location. And I was right. like, okay, boom. And I walked over to the La Brea Tar Pits <laughs> where they have, and this is, this is how I... Yeah, we're uh, both in the same area to vote, yeah. yeah. So I walked over to La Brea Tar Pits, which is like a, literally a pit of tar. That has a bunch of like uh, dinosaur bones and fossils. And, right, uh, and mammoths. By the way, yeah. this is my this is my impression of me walking when I do my shoulders like this. So that, walk that's a walking. Yeah, that's yeah. how I walk. And then I walked over to the Brea Tar Pits, and um, and then I went to the parking lot, and it, it was just cars there. It was it wasn't no like voting booths because it was supposed Not to be yet. outdoor. And yeah, so in LA, actually, so early voting has started in California, and it is October fifth, twenty twenty. Um, but in LA. It doesn't um, start until uh, October um, 30th, I think, at that location. So I'm going to wait till then. But I'm on your ass, America. Yes. I, I, I and also, what I did was, and, and then, I, uh, I, what you can do is, everybody, that if you're in California, what I did is went got the information on each proposition. I got some of the paperwork on Prop 23, Prop 22, uh, different things for pertaining to drivers and if you want to you know so i went and read all the information so when i go to vote i'll have all my decisions already done i literally went and got all the paperwork but i you can't go you can't get the um you can't get in to do it yet so i so, i'm ready i'm ready to go 
I'm so ready. In, per- in person early voting isn't until like five days before election day. And pretty on the left and the right said, "Damn, that's late." I, I thought so too, because when then because then when I got there, I, I like started looking at the flying print. And I was like, "Oh wait, in 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 my city, this shit ain't. It's not the same everywhere in the state." It's just certain counties and certain places uh, that you can start voting now in person. Um, but in L.A., it's only up to five. I'm like, this is, you know, second largest city in America. Um, a lot of people are because at this point, my big push was for everybody to mail in vote. But he's putting so much fuckery around that. And I'm like, it's be- you know, and, and I'm like, do, do, do the- it, do it to protect yourself, especially if you need to and feel the need to. But if you can and, 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 and feel you can go in and do it safely in person, I think we need well, to Well, you know what? I, this is what up. I say. I, Pedro, I'm saying if you're younger, a little bit, if you're younger and you don't have any pre-existing conditions and you, you're pretty healthy, it's, it's better to do it where you can go in. Yeah. But if you're older, you can't really do that. So I think that what the younger people have to do is help the older people get their mail-in ballots done correctly and done right and make sure those will get mailed in. But what we're happening is some of the right wing extremists are actually, um, you know, it's no other way to put it, robbing the vote. They're taking the down mailboxes by um, taking the sure. car, smashing to them, which bust them open and taking the votes that are mailed in. So the, the best way to do it is actually do it at, uh, at the drop boxes that are specifically yeah. for voting. And, Not, and are we, yeah. yeah, and and you can turn them into like your secret secretary of state, or um, you know, there's usually a, an elections board uh, in in the state. But RVA Gourmet brought it up earlier. I'm pulling it out of the pocket. Thanks for reminding me, Shane. That like six, um, and I hadn't heard about that, but she she said that six uh, mailboxes were broken right. into in in Richmond. Um, yeah. You know, I you can't use that. the mailboxes. You can't use I, mailboxes. I, yeah, you got to use yeah, because uh, the the mailboxes, uh, the actually mailbox for voting is a different kind of box. It's a white box with the logo on it. Those are actually hardcore. You got to be really. You got to be fucking Joker to get in that bitch. Regular mailboxes. Me and Pedro could fucking get them into it. Like pick up a mailbox. And, b- and bounce, literally. But you can't do that with those. So make sure you do them at the voting, the actual ballot boxes. And those are the ones that are right in front of the post office that you're going to be posted up. You can't get those. So yeah. if you do that or take it straight in, that's the best way to do it. But young people help the older people because older people are going to be more at risk. That they can't stand in line for six hours. They can't stand in line for three hours. It's well, going to be difficult. So make sure yeah. you do that shit and help them out, goddammit. It ain't that hard for you to do the shit. Quit being bitches and act like, ah, I don't want to do that shit. You better help them out, goddammit. Now, we, hey, got, uh, we only said, got a little bit of, we got one minute. I got a uh, minute. Fabric JF brought to you by the uh, World Famous Lab Factory. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. First off, before I say that, follow at Black Pedro. Follow at Black Pedro. No more questions about this. We already went over this. I think it was Thursday. Uh, my friend Ben watches it. Ben? Don't ask me again. I think now you're doing it as a joke. It's Black and Pedro. Follow him. Um, also, the podcast is Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel, and we, we will definitely – you'll be able to see a show when you can't watch it all because you're at work in the middle of the day. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we, and we, we got I, a couple of new subscribers. Thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, before we bounce, I am Queen Leo said, I do not trust the post office. If you don't – uh, but you still want to do an absentee ballot, understand that you can deliver it directly to either your secretary of state or your board of elections. Like there, there is, there is a, a physical location that, will, that you can take it to that directly handles your, your ballot. So uh, don't feel beholden to that if you don't trust it and don't allow it to, uh, you know, negate your voice from the process yeah we got to do it this time this motherfucker gotta go this orange bitch gotta go he's corrupt his people around him corrupt so don't just vote him to fuck out vote these other bitches out i watched this shit with lindsey graham and uh down in the debate absolutely got crushed i mean crushed hey man you said your own words against you and he did fuck them Go Jamie down Harrison ballot here. and get rid of all these bitches. All these Republican GOP suck up. They they condone all this bullshit. They're they're just the sycophants. Fuck them all. 
we got to vote them out. And if y'all vote them out, no Christmas gifts for you all. That's it, Savage Nation. If you don't vote them out, no Christmas gifts for you. And I don't even really celebrate Christmas, but I ain't going to get you no gifts, goddamn it. Fuck all y'all if y'all don't vote for me. That's what it is. Like AJ Fitz. And Biden looks good. Him. Biden has been looking better. I think he's on roids too because he has been yeah, talking he's, better. He's on something. Stay on it, Joe. Uh, like AJ Fit three sixty five says, mask it or casket, y'all. Uh, we gonna bounce from here. I'm gonna go to this job, and uh, we are gonna see y'all tomorrow, six p.m. Pacific Standard. Six, no, yeah, uh, six p.m. to seven p.m. The next three days: Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So make sure you remember we're gonna be on later, and then Friday, three p.m. to four p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Time. Yes. That's All right, is, brother. Have a good time, safe, there, man. Shame. Don't hey, don't don't pull the Gertrude on nobody. Man, I, I'm gonna leave it right where she is, locked up tight. We good. Okay, cool. All right, All right, tomorrow we'll see you tomorrow, y'all. Later, All right, man. Late. El oh, Nuke. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all take care. Thank y'all so much for supporting the Savage AF. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast, um, Savage AF on YouTube. Savage AF podcast search it subscribe it we'll see you soon tomorrow more shit to talk about